All right, let's uh, let's keep going because we can't we can't get some music in here because we're gonna get fucking copyrighted. It's, <sighs> but yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know the the copyright system on YouTube's weird because you could literally have oh. In the GM's office. Why am I still with Hurricane? I don't want to be with Hurricane. It's gonna be Coach, dude. There you go. You can see the top of his head. You're the new general manager of Raw. What's up with that? Well, Mr. McMahon likes to say that I'm the interim general manager and that he's still looking for a permanent replacement, but. I think we all know that he's just saying that to smooth over some bruised ego. I mean, where's he gonna find a better GM than the cup? All right, well, if you're done talking about yourself, let's talk about Triple H and what he did to me last week. I was week. just getting to that. Don't rush the coach, or I'll strip you of your title shot. What the fuck? The coach is famous for his sense of humor. You're a piece of shit, now, dude. I know you two gentlemen are skeptical. But let me make a couple of matches for you as a show of good faith. Ah. Uh. Now I can't put you and Triple H against each other just yet, or it would spoil WrestleMania for the coaches' fans. But I will give you a shot tonight against Triple H's right-hand man, Ric Flair, in a submission match. That's the second time this season mode that I faced Ric Flair in a submission you, match. Hurricane. I'm going to give you exactly what you were looking for last week. A world heavyweight title match tonight against Triple H himself. What? <laughs> what is he thinking? What? what? Opportunity for Citizen Coach. What happens when I beat Triple H tonight and win the world heavyweight title? Surely you don't expect me to fight my sidekick at WrestleMania. You beat Triple H for the world heavyweight title? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Hurricane. Sometimes I think you're almost as funny as me. Now move along, gentlemen. The coach is a busy man. And you've got matches to prepare for. What an absolute jackass. What has Raw done to deserve that moron as a general manager? What the fuck? <laughs> he got a world title match, dude? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Oh man. Alright, so we got a submission match here against your boy, your nature boy, Rick Flair. I think we've seen this, right? I don't know. I'm gonna... I'll let it go just in case we haven't seen it. But, yeah. And I think we have, because we faced them before. In a submission match. Before. Um, if I remember correctly, that is. But, yeah. Uh... Okay, his entrance is... Hurry up with your entrance, dude. Alright? Yeah, yeah, you're talking, but oh my, what the fuck is Lillian Garcia wearing? Is that an appropriate ring announcer's gear? Is that appropriate for a ring announcer, Lillian? Huh? Huh? Where's something, where's something like, 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 like Justin Roberts? He always wore a suit. You didn't see him come in in fucking jorts and a fucking muscle shirt. Did you? No, because he's a professional, Lillian. Garcia. Botching everything. Breaking shoes. All that shit. Honestly, though, the, this series just kind of... I, I, I'm realizing it was kind of a bad idea to do Muhammad Hassan. Not because of, like... Like... 
his attributes and stuff. It's just like every time I hear his music and he's coming out, I kind of miss the character more. So like every time I record or I record this series, I'm like, man, this guy could have fucking been special. And every time it's just more and it's just I should have maybe picked somebody else so I didn't depress myself every time I recorded about the prospect of a character but you know I don't even know why I'm watching the whole the whole thing we've already seen it <sighs> all right okay uh, momentum swings performing a finishing move will com with a completely filled meter will cause a considerable depth to however story the performing with the have will inflict Oh, okay, that's the difference. Okay, I got, I, I assumed it have something to do with uh. Oh. Hey. No. Hey. Nowhere. Rick. Ooh. But fuck. This is a risky move. It could prove to be decisive. Oh, oh fuck! You reversed. Listen, Rick. Rick. Mm. Mm. You mother. Damn it, dude. Yeah. Oh, got him. Uh. Ooh, you motherfucker. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted. Oh, Just Reversal City, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, no. Hey, listen. Hey, Rick. Hey, oh, my God. Uh, he reversed it again. Jeez, I'm, I'm not having luck with my... Oh, my goodness. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff, but... I don't think I want to know. There we go. Oh, I missed. Ooh. What a counter! What is this? What a counter? You spoiled the counter, dude. <laughs> like what? How how did you know it was a counter before he countered the fucking move? How can you say that, King? How can you insult the intelligence of these WWE fans? Ooh. The only thing I don't like about this game a little bit is that, um, like, the, the ropes and the posts and stuff towards the hard camera, they go kind of transparent, and it, it kind of, like, yeah, you can see inside the ring a bit better, but I don't, like, it's kind of iffy. Because, like, somebody could try unbuckling the turnbuckle rope buckle thing, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know if I, I don't know if... Was any of that English? Uh, um, but holy fuck, Rick, calm down, you bitch. Nope. I reversed that. I swear to God, I reversed that. But yeah, whatever, whatever the camera close. Oh my God, this piece of shit. I'm in the ropes though, so <laughs> these fucking gyrations, dude. I'm in the ropes though, so I should be fine. Yeah, I'm in the ropes. Don't. Okay, good. He wasn't. He didn't. He wasn't like a true heel. He didn't ignore the ignore the rope. Wait, he just did his finisher, but he still has a finisher. Did he get another finisher? Like, did he have the stored one and then the fucking? Oh fuck. Alright, store it, I don't think. I don't know how long that lasts. Ooh, there you go. You think these Fucking put him in it. Oh yeah, boy! Let's go. Let's go. We got your boy Muhammad Hassan. Also, uh, in that interview I was talking about earlier, um... Well, he got out of that. Uh, in that interview I was talking about earlier, he talked about... Because I, I had heard... Uh, Sean Devari did a shoot interview, and he was talking about how uh, somebody told uh, Muhammad Hassan, whose real name is Mark Kapani, uh, but I'm going to refer to him as Muhammad Hassan. Um, he told him to protect his finish, because I guess Eddie Guerrero was using, uh, was using the camel clutch on house shows or something like that. And it was it was Hassan's finish. So somebody told him like, uh, "You gotta protect your finish. You gotta tell tell him not to use it." And Eddie's dad apparently invented the camel clutch. So it was kind of like him disrespecting somebody. And he and he he revealed in his interview that it was Kurt Angle who did that, who told him to. 
and he's like, nah, I'm not gonna say that to Eddie, and he's like, oh, they're gonna think you're a pussy if you do, if you don't, or something like that. So, yeah, uh, it was interesting to find out who told him that, because I was always wondering, like, oh, who told him that, because, yeah, um, Rick, damn it, Rick, but yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting to know that Kurt told him that, um, what what is this? If there wasn't a WWE superstar, you make a great lawyer or politician. Motherfucker. Piece of shit, dude. Mm. Stomp your ass. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown Ooh. putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleagues, but no I can't King. I truly believe we're yep. all Boom. It's funny because I'm I'm kind of not even doing Muhammad Hassan's move set because it's just so much easier as a as a clean superstar or a wrestler. <sighs> just let me f like fucking. I don't know why he didn't stay down after that elbow. You motherfucker! All right, go go. Get it on there, yeah, boy. Give us that, give us that sick ass, like, like, gray silhouette thing that happened. Remember that shit? It was like in the first or second episode. What the fuck? Why did he fucking escape out of that fucking right away, you motherfucking piece of shit, dude? You fucking asshole. Fucking beat his ass, dude. No, I reversed that shit, dude. Get out of here. Get your dick out of my face, Ric Flair. Get your dick out of my face, Ric Flair. You motherfucker. Damn it. Come on, get up. Get up. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm to see it too, JR. Grr, piece of shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that was an elbow to the dick. <laughs> you of all people should be able to appreciate that game. Wait a minute, JR. You're not oh, God, stop reversing, Rick, you piece of garbage. Although there was that rumor going around about your social security number was one. Come on. Come on. I don't... Okay, I, I'm guessing I have to lose this shit. Because he's fucking getting out of all my fucking submissions right away. Like, I'm assuming I have to lose this. There we go. Alright, please, let this be the end. Come on. Come on. His foot's not in the ropes, so I should be fine. Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, we're getting this, this, this black and white, this gray shit, dude. This is lit. This is lit, dude. Oh my lord. This is dope. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. How the fuck does he keep escaping from this shit? You motherfucking Ric Flair piece of fucking garbage, motherfucking stupid idiot, fucking reversing fucking idiot, stupid idiot, getting out of my submissions first try idiot, looking idiot, Ric Flair idiot. Alright, let's try it. Oh, fuck, he reversed it, too. But I reversed him. Fucking, that would break his back. Fucking piece of shit, you piece of fucking garbage, Ric Flair. Ric Flair, you piece of garbage. You piece of garbage, Ric Flair. Motherfucking piece of trash. Piece of shit. You piece of... I'm... I ride you motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, damn it, dude. Ah. I have a feeling I'm supposed to lose this shit because like you you understand there are no pinfalls in this match, Rick. Ooh, you motherfucker. Get. So long, ref. Sweet dreams. 
It's going to be he reversed it again, the motherfucker. What the hell, dude? I'm in the rope. Oh no, like, my head is literally in the rope. Like, I don't... I'm in the rope. If you just lie back, Muhammad Hassan, you'd be in the rope, you piece of garbage. Can you believe we actually get paid to do this? It's like a dream come true, motherfucker. Except we have to sit here and listen to you drool over the diesel. Come on, Jr. You know I'm helpless when it comes to puppies. Oh, I know, King. I keep reversing those, I swear to god. Why did I get a reversal after I was already hit? Honestly, I'm not even, I'm not even like, worried about using this as like a cheap way to get fucking- Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Can you fucking stop, Rick? Fuck's sake, dude, this match has gone on ten minutes, and I should have had him beat like fucking three times. But he fucking kicks out, not kicks out, I guess, but like escapes out of all my fucking submissions, which are finishers, by the way. So like, I don't understand. You can look at any professional sport you want. You're a motherfucker, Rick. You won't find more incredible athletes than the WWE superstars. You're not wrong, King. They compete every week until they are physically incapable of continuing. Fucking dick. We're not talking about running a ball down a field. What the fuck? Stop reversing my shit, you prick. It sure is. The toughest athletes in the world are on the WWE roster. Oh my god. This is getting annoying now. Fucking asshole, stop. You won't see action like this anywhere except on Raw. Look at that. He's busted wide open. Is great. I don't know what's so great about watching a human being brutalized like this. It's this motherfucker, that's what's so great about it, JR. It's this piece of shit that keeps getting out of my fucking finishers like a piece of garbage, you motherfucker, you fucking old man, stupid idiot, getting out of all my submissions first time, stupid idiot, stupid idiot. Ric Flair. Boy, when you look at these superstars, it really drives home. I swear to God, I'm supposed to lose this. I swear I am. Just get the fucking finish. There we go. Please. Excuse me. Please. You've got to ask yourself. Tap out. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Motherfucker. Do it again. I tell you, JR, this one has the Seriously, what the fuck, dude? He's nowhere near the ropes. Are you fuck that's rope break? Uh, there's a full dude, my foot fits in between him and the ropes. How the fuck is that rope break? What the fuck, dude? I'm getting screwed. There's no fucking chance. This is like I I'm supposed to lose. There has it has to be I'm supposed to lose. Cause they get your dick out of my face. There's no way he's gonna fucking get out of like fucking four camel clutches on red health, body and head red health. Fucking like are you serious? Like, holy shit, fuck me, dude. There's no room for error when you're on the top row. And of, of course. And he's the, you motherfucker piece of shit, dude. A textbook reversal there. <sighs> Espe like, Rick, please, you fucking dick. Just, just let it end. Just let it end. Just let it fucking end. Please. 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 Oh my god. Let me fucking get you down. 
and then let me fucking- Oh my god, you cunt. You're- you're an absolute fucking asshole. Ric Flair! This is getting ridiculous now. He's fucking reversed like three fucking camel clutches. He's gotten out of like four camel clutches. First fucking try. There's no way this is fucking... Please, okay? There's no way he can get out of the fucking ropes, okay? Even the last time he wasn't even close. Like, are you fucked? Like, come on, please. Okay, we got the, we've got the gray shit again, which means this means business, all right? So we've got this. This is cinematic. It's signaling that there's no way he can get out of this shit. Fucking tap out, you piece of fucking garbage. Fucking tap out. Thank God. Jeez. That went on for way too long, dude. Oh god, and there's no cutscene after! There's no storyline progression either. It's just a match. God damn, I put, I put up with all that shit for nothing, dude. God damn it, piece of shit.